What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a faster way to preview and review clips inside of Premiere Pro to make your editing a little more efficient. If you enjoy watching this video and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So let's just head over here into the project panel and you'll notice I have a bin full of videos. So let's just pretend these are all the videos for my movie and I want to go through and, and pick out and isolate specific sections in each clip to add to my timeline to build my video or my movie. And normally you just double click on a clip, get up in the source panel, kind of skim through wherever you like. You would create an endpoint, come over here, and then you'd say you want it to end right here. So then I'd create my out point. So I have my end point, my out point, and then I'd come over here and I would just click overwrite. It would drop it in the timeline and or I would just grab it, drag and drop. Either way, you're pulling just this specific section from the in and out inside of the timeline. And then if you want to get a different video, you'd have to double click a different video come up here, do the exact same thing, find the section you want to use, so on and so forth. So I'm going to show you a more efficient way to save a little time, especially when you have a large amount of clips. And any window that's highlighted, so right now I'm in the source panel, you can tell by the blue line around the edge. If I just click the tilde key, which is directly under the escape, it's a little squiggly line, it'll blow it up full frame. Undo that. It's also the same if you come up to the name and double click it, it'll open up, double click it again, it'll go back down. Once again, I'll just highlight this, tilde open up, tilde close back down. So that brings us, take us down to the project panel where I have the bin of videos I want to access. So I could just double click on there or tilde. And you might have a list view, which will look like this. If you come out to the bottom left, you can click on the different options, but I want to go to the icon view for this specific task. I'm going to click on there. So now I have a thumbnail of all the different videos. Also next here, there's a slider scale, allow you to bring them up larger or smaller. So I like to have these big during this process. So let's just go to this original video that I pulled and I can still have the in and out from before, which I'm gonna undo that, which I'm gonna click on the video, option X to take it off. So now I have the full video there, start to finish, left to right. And because I have it clicked where you see the gray bar around the video, I can grab the little playhead, I can scrub through the timeline like I would in the source panel or the timeline. If you notice down here to the bottom right, this is the full length of the video. This is 15 seconds and 11 frames. Start to finish, which is here to the far, far left, to the far right, the end. But like I said, I want to be able to go through and identify which specific section I want to use only. So I can scroll through here and I can do keyboard shortcut I and say go a little further. You've already noticed this number is shortened because it's going off the new endpoint. So say here, we're going to drop the out point here, which is keyboard shortcut O. So now I have an in and out point and it's already marked it. Now it's only nine seconds and 28 frames. So we'll go through, let's pick another one. You don't have to have it clicked to where you have the little handle. You can just scrub over video. So click off real quick, come over to this video here. I can just scrub my mouse over left to right and it'll move along with it. And the same notion, I can click I for in point and say go a little further and click O for out point. So now for these two videos, I've identified the specific section inside of the entire video that I want to use in my timeline for my video. So you can just go through all your videos quickly and just be like, okay, that's the section I want and they'll out say there. You can do it again over here with this flower. I want just a little snippet. I'll do I here and I'll do the O there. That's much faster. Just skimming over, finding the sections in and out, in and out. So you can do this in a batch amount of clips. 10, 12, 15, without having to go up and down in the source panel every single time. So when you're all done, go back to the keyboard shortcut tilde and or double click on the name up here. You'll see all the videos back down in here again. So now you can tell when I hover over them, you can see the blue line where there's the in and out already pre-established because I did that in that large batch. So now what I can do is I can click on one and shift, click on the last one and it'll highlight all the rest of them. Or if you individually want to pick them, you can hold down command and click whichever one you want also. But once I have all four of them, or all 10 of them, or all eight of them, or however many you, you've done the in and out points, you, I could have done that for every single clip and just done command all and collect all these and import that at once. But if you wanna go in a specific order, how you're building your timeline, you can just do one at a time. You can highlight this. And as you normally would click the override button here, which would be the shortcut period to bring the video down. As long as it's highlighted here gray, I'll just click period and you're gonna see it, it lumps it right here in the timeline. And then say I want this flower shot next, period again. And say I want this balloon next, period again. This group of people dancing, period again. So you can go through, I'll drop that down a little lower, and just cherry pick whichever videos, whatever order you want, and just start dropping them in order. And your playhead will move along with it. And you've already gone through and pre-marked the start and the exit point of that specific clip you want to use. And just remember, if you want to go and undo the in and out marks, as long as the clip is highlighted, you can just do option X and you'll see it undoes the in and then does the out. So this is one way to preview and review individual clips, mark in and out 
in a batch fashion to save you time. Anyway, I hope this video helped. And if it did, please give a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.